everyone to another Monday Night Orange Practica at the Beat. I'm again happy to have Christina co-teaching with me. And uh, the subject for today is what? Baxacaba? Who's Baxacaba? Followers. Followers. A Baxacaba happens from what standard tango movement? Turns. Turns, thank you. This whole pattern includes what kind of turning? If you do it the full way that we're doing it. And, and close. We start with a close turn to lead what? The ocho cortado, which is nothing more than a turn to the right in close embrace, half turn to the right, and then a turning back to the left in close embrace. If you do that and follow the very apilado chapter one close embrace structure of the turn, you don't even have to know it's a pattern called ocho cortado. You're going to do it. From that cross position, we are doing what? What's that T word, that terrible T word? Transition, yes. Um, so um, followers, idea, uh, fundamentally, whose axis is the hero based on? The leader. So this means we are being asked to walk around our leaders, right? In the second part, in the second turn that they are asking us to do, what kind of steps, how are we walking around our leaders? With what kind of steps, long or short? Long. And where are those long steps going? Around. Around. And Homer mentioned this. How close are we when we are making these steps? As close as possible. As close as possible, but still being able to make those long steps. What will really help? to be able to make those long reaching steps around our leaders. Are we like this? No. Yeah, we have to be on our vertical axis to be really straight up and down. Yeah? Uh, leaders, we're leading, um, how are we leading turns? How do I like to lead turns? Full energy. Full energy, yeah. In the close embrace, we're chest to chest, so that's the whole body is just kind of pulling my partner, if you will. I have a nice embrace to add to the hug. The goal for this Ocho Cortado is to finish where? To make it super compact and circular. When I'm done, I will be facing... The other way. Good. So I cross behind. What's the golden rule? Hip square. At the moment, I'm partner sidestep, or hips are square. And then I turn back on my left. Okay, we're facing against the line of dance. Here's where what happens? Mm -hmm. Transition. Transition, good. I'm gonna pull, which means what is my right hand doing? Nothing. But what is my left hand doing? Followers. Holding on. We're holding on. If I wanna lead a saccada versus a gancho, I need to step close or slightly far away from my partner? Slightly, slightly, slightly far away. away on some diagonal line. This creates enough space as what am I doing with the other leg? Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan turning, pulling them around, Baraba, and then trying to get a little bit out of their way so we can go back to our line of dance. What is ha what what are we doing, followers, before we make that back step with our right foot? What is our leader asking us to do? Take our axis. Yeah, but but what are we doing here? They're asking us to pivot. What kind of a pivot is this, forward or backwards? So it's a little bit of a brain thing. Forward. It's a forward pivot, yeah? And then when, when we make that back step, ideally, yeah, first we, have, we want to be on our vertical axis, but what about our right foot? Where is it? Is it here? No, it's close to you. It's close to our left foot. And what are we doing with our right heel? We're trying to keep it pointed towards the floor versus towards the wall. Yeah? Okay. Last concept for the followers, instead of stepping back in a straight line, your hips can do what? They can open, so you can cheat to win. But that'll help you make a deeper step close to your partner. Shall we do a little bit? Yeah. Okay. 
By the way, originally um, Christina wanted to add a boleo at the end of this. <laughs> it's really to extend the understanding of whose axis are we communicating the movement? Are we communicating around the leader's axis movement or are we communicating around the follower's axis movement? Which ochos are based on the follower's axis, heroes or turns are based on the leader's axis. And in at the moment of receiving around their partner's axis, if I step away, I get a sepalda. If I step close to them, then we could potentially get what? A gancho. So you'll probably see that. If you had the class already where we did that, it'll make sense. Hopefully things will tie together. Um, for a gancho, my energy also stops abruptly. For a sepalda, not only do I step slightly away, but my energy is very fluid and continuous the whole time with no stopping by kicking the heel around. So those two concepts, space and energy, will determine if it's a back saccada or a back gancho, very important to distinguish. <laughs> Thank you. 